All right, greetings and salutations, YouTube. Hey, I uh, just wanted to make a, a short video on uh, on the CPX2, the Sky that I just got. I uh, took it out to the range this morning, and uh, it actually took it out to the range yesterday and today. And uh, I ran about uh, I don't know, about about 80 to 100 rounds through this. I mean, 80 rounds, I think, I ran through this thing. And uh, it was throwing brass all over the place. And it was bothering me enough that uh, I disassembled the gun and kind of, you know, got out my, my spectacles so I could see what the heck I was doing here. And I uh, discovered a couple of things that were disconcerting. This is a brand new gun I bought from cheaper, through Cheaper Than Dirt. This is uh, made by Sky Industries out of Florida. And uh, apparently this gun had been QC'd, test fired on the 25th of April 2014 by B. Wood and uh, yeah so this thing had been test fired at the factory and it was sent out to the distributor and then it was sent to me and um, so you know, yeah, I just took it out of the box and you know put put uh, 80 rounds through it. And one thing I noticed this morning is that this pin, see that pin, it's sticking out. almost an eighth of an inch so you know and you look at the other side of the gun let me just break this thing down so it's it's easy enough to break down so looking at this pin and, and it you know I, I was shooting this morning thinking I don't know that's kind of a weird spot to put something like that but Pay no mind, but then I, you know, got home and looked at it, and uh, it's not even engaged. No, I can't get the focus. It's not even engaging this side of the frame. I don't know. It's it's weird. The first thing that I notice is that there's a little crack. See the little crack right there? It extends all the way to the to where the see this this piece right here, the receiver slides into the frame and is held held into the frame by these two pins. And this front pin isn't even engaged into the frame. And this one is cracked. 80 rounds. Now I haven't contacted Sky about this yet. Put it back together. Um, but I would probably venture a guess that that might have something to do with the inconsistency of the brass placement. And the other thing I noticed too is that um, you got the extractor and you see the little nub there, that little uh, that little piece of metal sticking out. Well, as this thing, as the slide comes back, this makes contact with the um, that's stationary. That doesn't move. That's that's actually pinned into in through. There's another pin inside of here, I think. Anyway, that's stationary. That stays. Yeah, I won't focus again. That stays stationary on the frame, and as the slide comes back. That's what actually. Come on. Great. No. Super. Oh, that's why it's not pushed over. 
you know, see if I can, I got my arm around the, on, around the tripod, trying not to bump the tripod. But as, as the slide comes back, that, uh, that little piece of metal pushes the, the brass out. Well, I don't know why, but it's throwing brass all over the place as far as 30 feet away and in about an uh, 80 degree arc. So, you know, in comparison, you know, like I said in my, the, the previous video, my canic drops it at my feet within, you know, a bushel basket. In fact, I, I, would, I would dare say that if I put a, a bushel basket on the ground at my feet, I could put all the brass in the bushel basket. You know, the dispersal of the brass on the ground with a canic, I think, is a result of the brass actually hitting the ground and tumbling. But I think I could probably put that in, I'd probably put them in a coffee can. But anyway, I digress. But I'm a little bit disappointed with uh, with this particular firearm right now. We'll see what what uh, Sky's got to say about it and what they'll do about it. it you know, right now it needs a frame because that thing is cracked right there. I'm gonna take some pictures of this and uh, and and send. A, I'll call them. I'll call Sky tomorrow directly and uh, email them some pictures of what I found and. And we'll go from there, and I'll, I'll let you know what they do about it, and how long I'm going to be without my CCW gun, because this was the gun I was going to use to do my uh, CCW class. So if this takes, you know, 45 days to turn around, I'm going to be really disappointed, and I will not recommend this gun or this manufacturer to anybody. But we'll see. Um, yeah. So stay tuned. Bummer. All right. So, till next time, rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a splendid day. Bye.